just keep clapping. Now, did, did, didn't you say we're going to need this when it's hot? Yeah. <laughs> Isn't that optimistic? Yeah. <laughs> yes. Very much so. Get your Bibles out. We have to go sit in our cars. <laughs> I hate being cold. I don't care about being hot. Being cold. Um, no, no, you go to sleep on this. You, you. <laughs> you good. Real good. Uh, get your Bibles out. We wanna. We, we're talking about the supernatural. How many of y'all are excited about the supernatural? Hey. <laughs> are you excited enough to sit down? So I done killed the spirit already. Let me show you something. Okay. Uh, first, let's get, and then uh, I'm serious. After that, we can go, you can go back to your car and heat up. Now, if your car don't have a heater, <laughs> yeah. you sure we can't get all these fucking my office? No. <laughs> Y'all don't mind standing. I'm serious. Open that back room. As long as you don't mind staying. <laughs> look, at these, look at these folk moving. Why don't you let the man of God go there? Go. I ain't never seen these folk move this fast. Hair out back here. Crystal, you know, Crystal, you don't count. Crystal. <laughs> some of y'all need cow. Some of y'all need some of y'all need counseling anyway. <laughs> Some of y'all need. Ooh, it feel, some of y'all feel. Some of y'all need counseling anyway. <laughs> Don't it feel nice though? Ain't nothing wrong with this. Now, now, now y'all hugging folk, and I ain't blaming you. Open, open up, open up that back room. Crystal loving it out there. Hey, and we got room all over there. Y'all got to stay in. We got room all over there. I ain't going down there. Don't it feel a lot better? Yeah. Yeah, that was Look at the area on the back. Let's see. Put some water in there. I'm going to have a couple of arms. I'm going to sit. 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 i am going to sit 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 Mind standing. But notice, even something like that, okay? Even something like that. I remember I asked Cynthia, what did she say? That was an idea time to complain, right? It was nothing that was done intentionally, right? But notice what she said right away, okay? Her mind just said, hey, when it get hot, we're going to need to be like this. Had an opportunity to just whatever. Nobody did anything intentionally. Okay? I want you to remember that right now. Get Mark. And, and look, 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 at, look at the adjustment. We've been talking about the supernatural. 
But we're going to show you something because I want, I want you to capitalize on everything being supernatural. But if I'm going to show you nothing can happen supernatural if you're out of order. If you're out of order, there's no order to your life, right? If you're in order, and we'll show you, uh, you are supposed, everybody here are working. Look at Mary, got two babies keeping her warm. You slick. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't babysitting 20 years. Everyone in here, I'm going to show you. You should have a budget. I didn't get no amen on that. Amen. You ain't that cold. You should have a budget. If you do not have a budget, there's no use in you looking for anything supernatural. Because you are out of order. And I'm going to show you a scripture where, where, where the supernatural took place, but it only took place after they was in order. Okay? No, but we got, we got, and, and, and you know what? I shouldn't even, after 30 years, I shouldn't even care whether you in order, out of order, but I still care. Amen. Amen. You should have a budget. I'm so proud of the remnant. That's going to Paris. You can't go to Paris except you had a budget. Amen. Amen. Huh? A budget. Give me uh, Mark. Uh, this is the only miracle that's in all four Gospels, synoptics. This miracle is in every last one of them. Okay? There's a study in that. There's some that is in one two, three, but this miracle is in every, the synoptic means telling the same story the same way. Or uh, the same story different way. It's a story you think you know, but I'm going to show you there's a budget in here. Okay? St. Mark, chapter 6. And here's what's interesting, Brian Jr. This miracle happened right after John the Baptist was murdered. Right? Oh uh, really, but we know he was transitioned, right? So so the 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 supernatural, even a tragedy cannot stop the supernatural. How y'all like that? Right? Not even tragedy. Look at Mark six, pick it up in verse thirty two. And they departed into a desert place by ship <coughs> privately. And the people saw them departing, and many knew him, and ran afoot thither out of all cities. And out went them, and came together unto him. Uh, I'm a smart aleck. Where were they at the crucifixion? <laughs> I just, you know, where, where were they? Okay. Uh, where, where are we when we need, when, when he needs us? Okay, so you're just not here for the supernatural. You're going to finish with Jesus. Read. He's always got folk like this running after him because they need something. Read. And Jesus, when he came out, saw much people and was moved with compassion toward them because they were as sheep, not having a shepherd. And he began to teach them many things. Read. And when the day was now far spent, his disciples came unto him and said, This is a desert place, and now the time is far past. Now we know how jacked up these guys were. They probably said, Time's up. Mm -hmm. All right? Because, you know, and where, where were they at the crucifixion? Gone. Read. Send them away. <laughs> Told you. <laughs> Read. That they may go into the country round about and into the villages, and buy themselves bread, for they have nothing to eat. Okay, for they have nothing to eat. They've been out here all day. Amen. He was teaching. They didn't have nothing. Read. 
He answered and said unto them, Give ye them to eat. Should be in red in your Bible. Your Bible's cheap. Read. And they say unto him, Shall we go and buy two hundred penny worth of bread and give them to eat? Okay, now, now, all right. Where did Jesus get his money from? Y'all don't know? Huh? Y'all don't know where he got his money from? Anybody want to get? He had a church? Okay, but where did that money come from? Who? The who? The women. It might have been the people, but the Bible said the women. <laughs> okay? That's in Luke. The, the Luke. The, the women took care. Look, Luke 8. I ain't trying to I ain't trying to cast no shade, but men, the man when the man did get the money, he messed up. Yeah, he did. Mm -hmm. So watch this now. Let's flip it. So Michelle Wilson, if you got a man that can handle money, you got a treasure. You got something. Cause when the man did get the money, he messed it up. All right. He messed it up. He didn't want the lady to bless you with the with the expensive perfume. And then he even sold Jesus <laughs> for 30 pieces. So he can't handle money. Uh, and, then, and then he a traitor. Luke 8. Verse, there it is right there. Verse, uh, read 1 and 1 through 3. And it came to pass afterward that he went throughout every city and village preaching and showing the glad tidings of the kingdom of God and the twelve were with him. And certain women which had been healed of evil spirits and infirmities, Mary called Magdalene, out of whom went seven devils, and Joanna, the wife of Cusa, Herod's steward, and Susanna, and many others which ministered unto him of their substance. Of their substance. Okay. Go back to St. Mark. The watch said we're going to get a budget out of this, out of this miracle. <laughs> we're going to get a budget. Uh, so he told, so the disciples told him, go, go to, go to J&B's and get 200 penny worth of bread and give them to eat. Verse 38. He said unto them, how many loaves have ye? That's called taking inventory. How many loaves have ye? Huh? You want a miracle? How, what do you have? Do you even know? Do you know how much you make every two weeks? Do you know? Right. His his store is gonna be blessed because he has to give inventory and everything. Man, they ain't giving him no bonus with no raggedy store, haphazard, and your people steal it. <laughs> Am I right? It's all numbers, right? Every day you crunch numbers. Right. That's how we know your cousin steal it. No, that's how no, that's how he know. Right. They crunch numbers. All right. You don't know how much money you make. You don't have no budget. You just freelancing. How many loaves you got? You should be able to write now and say, how, how, I know I got this number of loaves. Okay? It, it, it should be read in your Bible. Watch this now. Go and see. We can't start no miracle until you know Till we know how much we have. You don't even know what you have. And it's not written down. Okay. And nowhere in your budget should it be written down where you depend on somebody else to take care of you. Especially if you're a priest. Amen. If you're a single woman. All right. There's certain things. I don't care who you are. You have to have a shelter. You have to have shelter. You have to have lights. Huh? You have to have. 
You tell, we, we got MUD and OPPD. Matter of fact, you get back to your job, uh, see what they did. It was their fault that our lights were out. Really? We had to call two, a technician, right? We had an electrician come by, which cost me some money. And they said it was nothing wrong with this. It was some of the tape was unplugged outside. Okay. So I investigate that. Right. Wow. And send a check to 2216 military. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, we was out for two weeks. It wasn't nothing, right? right. It was them, okay? Wow. Some they didn't, a wire. All right, but okay, but, but, but your budget, you should be able to spit your budget. And if you got a $2,500 budget, but you make $1,200, you got a problem. Big time. <laughs> Every month, huh? Every priest, okay? Watch this now. If there's a second, third job to be had, the priest gets it. Whatever the wife does is extra. Huh? Okay. Single women with budgets, don't you fall in love with no Canaanite and take care of him. That's an embarrassment. Huh? Now, Keita love the dress. She got one outfit now because she's taking care of some, some Demetrius. Demetrius. Huh? Are y'all hearing me, single women? Huh? Ain't nothing wrong with you asking for a man like Tim. Don't ask for Tim Wilson. That belonged to her. But you can ask for a man like Tim Wilson. <laughs> They just put a deposit down on a six-bedroom home. Wait, waiting to get an answer. Huh? And man, you know, I'm, I'm glad we in here tight. Because if you're mad, we know it's you. Uh, do you understand uh, uh, that, 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 and I got in here right now, and she done helped so many people and grown folk. Uh, uh, May Lee, uh, Marcus, Coco, Lachelle, Glenda, Jane, all y'all should have pulled your money and sent May Lee to Paris or any other place you want to go. You done rescued y'all, paid for your car, you still ain't did it right. That ain't right. <laughs> you supposed to know how many loaves you got, not how many loaves she had. And when a per out of a, uh, we all black in here except a couple of y'all we suspect. <laughs> so we all we all been down financially. <laughs> huh? <laughs> but watch it. But ain't none of us supposed to stay down talking about a resurrected Christ. Uh, and she ain't gonna say it. That's why I can say I'm glad we came in here. Now you toasty. <laughs> she ain't gonna say it. Have to stop her. And she don't mean no harm from being an enabler. Cause she got a good heart, but man, huh? You supposed you supposed to go and see. Is that in your Bible? How many loaves you got? Your budget. And your budget should not be dependent on somebody else helping you. Whatever help you get it is but a day-to-day -day budget. Uh -huh. And with a priest, you do that with pride. You don't have no car and ain't making no payment. That ain't no reality. How you have a car and no payment? No insurance. And you riding around. And you ain't got no car payment. And you gonna try to get another car and you ain't got the. <laughs> That's basic. 
You better not come here with no Negro with no car. Right. <laughs> Riding shotgun. You ain't that in love. <laughs> All of a sudden, this nigga driving a Porsche Cayenne. I be- <laughs> Come on now. No, that's real. And, and you know what? We training them. No, I, I ain't just feeding folk. I'm training folk. And if you get smart, you can fast. I don't care because I'm eating. Uh, to have a budget. <laughs> look, look at this, this one right here. <laughs> she had a little money. I, I told her, I said, well, I guess you're going to treat me this time. She said, huh. I looked at her like you. <laughs> you thought I missed that, didn't you? You looked at her. You looked, you're about to jump on her. I got her. Don't worry. I got her. <laughs> oh, you going to learn me. <laughs> You gonna learn me? Yeah. Look at like she's like, oh, I didn't know he saw that. You, you. That's right, teach him. Had a little money. Yeah. How many of y'all know I don't need her? Right. I'm trying to write. Her mother's about to jump over the table like you. We almost put the other one on a fast one time. I thought that I wasn't eating that day. No, no. Am I training them right? Somebody feeding you every week and you got $5 and you can't. I don't need your five dollars. <laughs> How old are you? But then between being eleven and being forty. Amen. I help an eleven year old. Right. She don't know. I, at her five dollars her was like five million. <laughs> but that wasn't the point. I'm feeding you every Sunday. <laughs> and her mother didn't get mad. Her mother's like, huh. I know that's right. It's all training. Okay? That's why some of y'all suffer, right? Because ain't nobody train them. Okay? Yeah, ain't, no, ain't no use looking cross eyed at, at Brian, Jenya, anybody who listen. I got babies, got two cars. Because they listen. Amen. Huh? Where's your insurance? Your wife gave you a compliment. No, that's real. You know, I ain't got nobody in my budget but me. Everybody in my budget? My boys know better. Told you, I flashed on it one time, put out a bunch of money. Put it right back in my but they was all looking like <laughs> No, I ain't like y'all. I put it in their face. <laughs> and it was like EF Hutton. Everybody was listening. <laughs> I ain't giving y'all a penny. Everybody understand? Go and see. Right. You should be able to spit it out right now how much you got. Okay? Now why you talking about I want the supernatural? You gonna get that you go see what you got. <laughs> I'm in the Bible. <laughs> ain't, no, ain't no supernatural, you ain't Okay, why didn't Jesus say it don't matter? I got this. No, he didn't He said, go and see. And I guarantee you, if you if you put a, a earnest deposit on no on a six bedroom home, I know you ain't looking at no five hundred dollar house payment. Are we clear? That is for the priest. Watch us now. If she want to blow, I don't care what she makes. They love her on her job. If she want to blow 200, she got to have some outfits. She can't be wearing the same outfit, washing stuff out at night. 
<laughs> Are we clear? That's extra. <laughs> Are y'all hearing me? That's for you singing. Don't you bring in no lap legged Canaanite. Who ain't got no job, no history, no insurance. And want you to take care of it. I got women here with good job. And that's your Bobby Brown prerogative business. You know why you got a good job? Because you got up and went to work. <laughs> ain't nobody giving you nothing. How many women here, if you, if you quit today, you're going to lose everything? How many here going to lose everything if you quit work today? Because ain't nobody paying you. How many of y'all have no cushion? You got to go hit the clock and make it happen. How would you like to ride around with a car with no car payment? No insurance. No house note. Go and see. That's a part of your, and, and when you single, you have to have a budget. <laughs> Are you going to get evicted? Are they going to take stuff? You mean to tell me? So I show my wife, I look at my, if, if the bank charged me for all, even though I know it by heart, if the bank charged me for every time I log in and look at my account, I got to make some adjustments. It's almost every, I, I log in so much, they quit talking about, quit asking me questions about, you know, little three questions you got to ask. Right. <laughs> it, it's, it's in front. It's in, it's, I must look, literally, I must look at it 50, 60, 70 times a day. Wow. Whoa. Don't none of those bills come in her name? None of them. No utility bill, none of them. No house, no. If she, she wouldn't know what to do with one of them. Not, not one of them. That's three, three houses. No utility, no nothing. No car. That, that, that ain't super. That, that's, but you know what? Like I told a young man this morning, no, that's in my heart. But then I get what I want too. I buy what I want too. I, uh, I get no clearance. Huh? You understand? And you ain't supposed to miss somebody that don't take care of you. And it is grounds for separation. Food, shelter, booty. <laughs> if you don't watch this now, if you don't know how many lows you got, you're supposed to suffer. Did Jesus say go and see? Yes, sir. Should be in red in your Bible. Why? Well, we're about to. I'm about to get into the supernatural. After you go and see, you like that, didn't you? It's true. Watch. And when they knew, they said, five and two fishes. That's inventory. How much money, huh, you have coming in? And it all shouldn't be bill money. How much play money you got left over? How much free money you got this week? How much you got on you right now? You always know how much you got. Because we go to Paris, don't be looking sad, because I'm going to be eating and shopping. <laughs> if you come with me, you got to hold my bag. <laughs> no, I mean, y'all laughing. No, no, no mess with y'all now. When I went to Japan with the Buko, the reason why Patrick wasn't there, because he told a little penny and he died. He made 60000 a year, told him he was going to Japan. They canceled vacation. Mm. So me and the Buko was there, and she introduced me to her friends. And man, you know, I ain't been to Tokyo. It's my first time. Man, I'm I'm seeing stuff I ain't never seen before. I got bags. I looked up. 
one grab one bag, the other grab the other bag. They grab my bag. I walk around like I was, Lord, look like a pimp game, huh? <laughs> I, man, I ain't carrying nothing. I like, good gracious to me. Come on, this is too much. That's too much. Mm. Wait, what, 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 no attitude. I got, you just grabbed them. Yes, sir. <laughs> now y'all like, there you go again. No. Huh? Huh? Ain't nobody. I hope all bad attitude for I hope your flight get canceled. That's too far to be putting up with nobody's attitude. Cause your money ain't right. Cause your loaves ain't right. No, no, hey, what'd you say? You can't get there with no money. That's too far. You can't be over there no $20. Right. That's too far. 20 euros? <laughs> you, can't, you, can't, you can't be over there with no money? you supposed to know how much money you have over there and what you can spend and what you can't buy. Right, man, come on. Don't come back and your lights and gas is off. Don't what? I said, don't come back and your lights and gas is off. Come on, man. You over there. Because you haven't done no inventory. <laughs> Ain't nothing wrong with getting over there. I mean, because you, you, uh, uh, you could be wealthy and have to go call your bank over there. It's over there. That has nothing to do with you. Okay? Told you I went over there and found a Gucci helmet one time. And uh, I ate McDonald's the rest of the way. Mm. I had what I wanted. Bought a Louis Vuitton helmet that was a thousand euros, like 15 years ago. Man, I wouldn't eat nothing but sandwiches after that. <laughs> All right. All right. Go and see. Watch this now. Five and two fishes. Verse 39. And he commanded them. Now you gotta sit down and get organized. What no, ain't no, ain't no supernatural. You don't sit down. Amen. And get organized. Y'all don't think I can pull that out of that scripture, did you? What? Were they organized? Mm -hmm. Sit down by companies upon the green grass. Right. And they sat down in ranks by hundreds and by fifties. Huh? The priest has it organized. We can do this. We can do that. We can't do that this month. We can do it next month. We can do it. Huh? We can do this in six months. Man, that's called business. Amen. But that freelancing, no response. That's an embarrassment not to have no responsibility. And somebody taking care of you. No responsibility. Bailed out. I ain't got nobody to bail me out. Y'all got somebody to bail you out? No. no. So you mess up the round tree, but that's it, ain't it? So if you don't make no car payment, you wouldn't know what to do without a car payment, would you? Lord, have mercy. That's not reality. That's why I don't fool James with my nephew. My sister just that she one of those enablers. What? What? A roach. I'm sorry. Just kill that roach. You know where they come from? Upstairs. When you got when you got that roof. I, I just segue into that. You know how many people I had to live up there who never fixed up? About four or five people. That live right upstairs. And, and, and you know why they didn't you know you know why they didn't fix nothing? Uh cause <laughs> no, 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 no. In other words, the church is supposed to take a man. At least four or five people. Even find some draws up there. Oh. <laughs> no, no, no. Ask, ask Kenny and Day Day.
And I never went up there. I didn't have to because I didn't live up there. That's that, that's that mooching spirit. That place should be laid out. I ain't never spent a night up there. That mooching spirit. And I guarantee you, everybody up there who did not recompense have blocked their own blessing. And they want to know why they can't get over the hump. Because right upstairs. Right? Watch the miracle. The supernatural going to come. After you get organized. Right. Oh. Told him, sit down. Verse 41. And when he had taken the five loaves and the two fishes, he looked up to heaven. Now the Lord showed up. <laughs> huh? So he took the inventory, go and see. Now he's going to bless it. All right? And there's an angel of wealth that you can invoke. Called Gadiel. Write it down. G-A-D-I-E-L. You can invoke. The angel of wealth. After you do some inventory. G-A-D-I-E-L. Gadiel. So, so what did you learn today? You can go out. You can sit. Once you get some inventory. So you can get your budget. And then submit it to God. Right. You can't submit no budget to God. Your tithes is. is. Uh -oh. So the supernatural is super above the natural. Does that make sense? Yes. But that's your part. Your budget. You can take your budget. And wave it under God. And God bless my budget. Bless my organization. Mm -hmm. Where well, you got all the basics. What, what are the basics? Food. Shelter. Insurance. Car insurance. Mm -hmm. Everybody have an emergency fund. Don't be going in Paris down to no zero or no hundred. Uh, because you look at your budget all the time. Then you're able to bless somebody. But a priest should be able to bless himself. How many women here got two? Man, two, two jobs. You got how many? Does that make sense? Here come the miracle. Read. Oh, man, so, man, so somebody here going to run out here and go, huh, I'm organized. I got a budget. God bless this. Yeah. I have sat down and organized. You can bless this. And I'm going to tell you the blessing you got coming. Read. It's in your Bible. He looked up to heaven and blessed and break the loaves and gave them to his disciples to set before them, and the two fishes divided he among them all. He blessed the budget. The five loaves and two fishes is what they had, right? He blessed the budget. He blessed the organization. Didn't nobody just stand? I ain't sitting down. No, you ain't getting no blessing. Watch what happened. Here comes some money coming to somebody here with the right attitude. Read. And they did all eat and were filled. And they took up 12 baskets full of the fragments. He took the budget and blessed them with more supernaturally. After they ate. Okay. So you're going to have some leftover money. Oh, Lord, have mercy. You're going to have some leftover money. Because he took the budget and blessed it. Read. And they did eat of the loaves were about 5,000 men. Uh-oh. 5,000. 5 plus 2 equal 5,000. That's supernatural. That ain't bad math. That's supernatural. Huh? 
So you mean to tell me you can take your budget, you can sit down and organize and say, God, here's the organization that you asked for in the word of God. This is what I have. Oh, man, I, I, and I'm asking you uh, supernaturally to bless my budget 5,000. Oh, Lord, have mercy. Huh? A 5,000-fold blessing on your budget. Uh, watch this now. Look, look at the order. They got a 1,000-fold just off the bread. <laughs> now we understand, right? All right, Deuteronomy 8. It's toasty in here now. It's black people. Thank, thank God for black people. Thank God for black people. Are we clear with that? Your wife paid you a compliment. I, I, I think I jumped on you one time about something, right? And it never happened again. You know what the wife said? She said that one situation, ever since then, my husband worked two, three jobs. My hus she said, all I pay for is my car. Now, he could have got mad. Thank you, Lord. <clears throat> you understand? And, and single women. I, don't, I really, man, this go home just because the church already small. Good. I'm not, I don't know more broke people here with bad attitudes. Huh? Broke and a bad attitude. But. How many single women have your own house? Now, we can fall out now. We can fall out later. I'm not interested in no Negro moving into your house. Right. Right. Amen. At the, uh, you know, I'm, I'm not interested in that. Come on. <laughs> it ain't going to happen. <laughs> Tell them, Pastor, did that happen one time? And it wasn't even his house. No. No. What did me and you have agreed on? It never happened again in your life. I'm not interested in that. You so in love. Ain't gonna boss you around in a house. Your kids gonna look at you like you crazy. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> kids like you got to be kidding. This house was fun and peaceful. Right. Right. For you let this. Uh, loneliness can't be that bad. No. To where you're going to have somebody come in because you won't hold them accountable. And then sit around and tell you all that you're not. Oh, no. And that's what you came to the table with. That's what you came to the table with. Which will have an effect on your son and your daughter. Your kids are going to you like you're crazy. How mama get mistreated in a house. We don't remember you coming in this house doing nothing. Uh, you, uh, we, you, we, you, we want to fall out now? You want to fall out later? Let's, let's just fall out and put it in the railway. You supposed to teach yo. You supposed to teach Chris and Caleb. You you supposed to be touching nothing. Okay. I know. Literally, I bet I bet you don't touch nothing. Yo, how do you? Uh, no, cleaning nothing. No, she's like what? I ain't know what you're talking about. I know you don't touch nothing. Did you never? Come on, Dad. No, that, that's good training. Man. Watch this now. Come on, friend. We have to help our men so they don't grow up and be irresponsible. The world don't owe you nothing. Look at Day Day. He out there. He 19. Just turned 19. Paid. He gets his money. School money. And pays his apartment. He is a miracle. Yeah. 
Yep. Pays it in advance. Yep. In advance. Right. We got the table in town. I said something about what? He looked at me like that little laugh. Huh, that's paid for. Yeah. Right. Yeah. You can bless somebody who's organized. Six months at a time. Lord, have mercy. Never seen nothing like that. Come on, beyond. That's right. So watch the single women. She just said it. So you're gonna be married and, and good. Keep your standard. This is a standard you didn't have when you came in here. Right. Amen. Okay. So now here, now, yeah. Bring me a Negro. Or someone whose knees grow. I don't care what you do. <laughs> <laughs> Who's six months ahead. <laughs> Which means this April, he's already in the what? October? Now we cooking with green. You, can, you can't come and grab my chazare. You don't get to sample that. Right. You ain't got nothing. <laughs> and you supposed to read your son the riot act. You both should be on him. You don't bring irresponsibility. You should be on him and make over her. And man, man, we gotta hold men accountable. Amen. You don't sit there and let no girl. You know where it comes from. It's the blood of his daddy. You own him. You don't lose no job. And if that boy loses a job, he's scared of her. He towers over her. She will throw something. You don't mistreat a saint's daughter. You don't break. I, I done suffered. And you lose all the time. I don't want to have no baby with you. You don't feel sorry for him. That's right. Somebody in the church I'm about to put out, always telling people who messed up they okay. Don't worry, I'm watching them. Yeah. Ask, ask Linda, she right here. I, I had a letter already typed out. Okay. Jesus. Yeah. All my, my nephews with their pitiful selves, they know I think I got, what, seven cars? Last count. <laughs> don't ask me for nothing. You know better. My niece, who I made him, uh, she, my, her, uh, uh, Kimmy put on something about some GoFundMe. Man, Kimmy, whoever in your butt should help, man. I might help London, but I ain't going to help her the way she think I'm going to help her. Because that ain't London's fault. I don't fund sin. Amen. Amen. I don't fund sin. To, uh, hey, you know what? I don't fund sin. Amen. Are you hearing me? Amen. You stay on him. How dare you do her like that? Don't come here for nothing. Every time, man, own him. You know why you stay on him? Because you sure don't want to marry one like him. Yes, Jesus. Uh, Hallelujah, Jesus. You don't want to marry one like him. Is that, is that real? Her daughter was getting verbally abused. Uh, 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 man, I t told her, get out of there. And she did. And got her own place. Didn't even qualify. And got her own place. Because God said, I'll supernaturally bless you. And she thanks Jesus so much. She don't know what to do. I'm telling you. I'm just, I'm just stacking up for Zoe. All you got to do is sit out and ask somebody. You don't know. You just ask somebody. You sit down and you lay it out. Your budget. And then you stick with it. But you do not mess over people who have given you a chance. Amen. Because if it comes to me, I'm going to handle it. Amen. What Crystal and KT have done for those kids, they are so far advanced. How old are you? How old are you? 
23. They out there clapping. Why should they, why should they be worried about they mo And jump ahead. And go to the bank, get get it. Man, that man, man, it's grown people in here ain't got no house and two cars. That's a call, man. That's a blessing. And for a young man to work. Now watch it. Man, 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 you gonna handle family business. Now your job, you asked him to come for your company, right? Mm -hmm. See, and who's coming? This man, when this man is in charge, ain't no friendship. Hold on now. I'm his pastor. I ain't working there. But if I work there, I ain't no Bishop Barlow. I better get my little blue shirt on and get to stepping. Do you understand that Davion, they were fighting over Davion. He could have been a manager if he'd have stayed. That work ethic. Because that woman right there don't enable no man. Ain't nothing worse than a man with a panty liner. Ain't no man with no panty liner. Y'all doubling up on panty liners at the store. And he is fit better than yours. Now, you look at your benefit package. It's another thing. Can we have, it's all business. You look at your benefit package. You look at how long you've been on the job. You don't want to look like you just keep. But if your benefit package is good. No, you lay it all out. You look at your hours. You look, everything is organized. Can, can, can I go and teach you for a few minutes? You also look at your paydays, your cash flow. Amen. That's right. Teach That's it. Teach man. Even though I talked, if I tell you I ain't go, it ain't I ain't got it. I ain't messing up. I have a set amount that I don't touch. It's like I don't have it. Ask Sonia. She ask, I said, no cash flow. I take care of Tokyo because that man that man sacrificed a hundred thousand dollar job to do that. We paid her whatever. Ask her. It's all cash flow. I mean, I don't know what's gonna come in. You know what's going to come in. Right, right, right. Okay? You watch your paydays when it's due. And if you single, you can't, let's say the man that is interested in you is organized and you come bringing some ham scammy budget. Ooh. That might be a game killer. Because his mama might have told him, uh-uh, she ain't that cute. Right, right, right. That's right. Come on. She ain't that cute. Okay. Is that real? And, and if you've already struggled, it might be a game changer for you. You have a right to leave that house to Jackson. And your daughter. And all of you already go, but you all be going by Mike Falco's grave and kissing it. He been gone 24 years, still taking care of folks. Thank you, Father. 
I ain't trying to bring up her hurt, but that was a man. At least she had one man in her life. Yeah. She's still in the house. She had one. What about setback? Uh, you, who you talking to? <laughs> who you talking to? <laughs> I'd have had a $5,000 problem. I'd still be speaking in tongues. I don't think anybody can stop. <laughs> you talking about hundreds of thousands. You talking about, are you kidding? And still having an amen. Without it, man. screaming and falling apart and not coming to church and whatever. You can't do God like that when you need a supernatural. Right, right, right. You just handle it. Right, right. Yes, sir. They just send me some other stuff, man. I'm like, I'll lay all this stuff out. Like, Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Are we clear? Yes. The supernatural cannot start except you go see what you got. Man. Man. Now, that was some good teacher, and it's warm in here. Who in here need help on a budget? I'm working on it. It's coming together. That's being honest. It's better. It's better than what I was. I can't. 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 Every head bow.